Most people love to do the big thing, the important thing, but they really hate to do the small, mundane, everyday things. That's why most people cannot become very successful, because to be very successful, we have to do not only to do the big, big thing well, but we also have to do the, all the small things also equally well. I'm sure uh, you have been annoyed with people, you know, when you ask them to do something. It could be our children, could be our, uh, our subordinate or our staff. When we ask them to do something, they did it without enthusiasm. Sometimes uh, they try to do it as quickly as possible. And at the end, uh, it is not fully finished or not finished well. And so we tend to get angry. But we also have to admit that many times we also do the same thing. You know, We love to do certain things, but we don't like to do other things. We like to do certain things because we like to, to do it. It's something that we're passionate about. So for example, uh, many people uh, spend a long time polishing their car, cleaning their car, or motorcycle, or, or bicycle, but they don't want to clean their own toilet, you know? And so the wife got angry with them and said, why you spend so much time on your bicycle? You don't take care of your children, you don't take care of your, uh, uh, or your house or your garden. Uh, this is quite normal, right? Uh, but then again, if we do that, we cannot become very, very successful. Like I said earlier, to be successful, we have to be good at everything that we do. Sometimes we also do uh, something well for a short time. For example, uh, when we first got married, you know, during, uh, during the honeymoon period, which is about three months, we take care of each other very well. We help our wife to, to do things in the kitchen, uh, in the house, but slowly it, uh, it laps. So it's uh, difficult to maintain, you know, uh, being good all the time. But if you want to be, have a good marriage, then we have to do that not only in the beginning, but we have to do it continually. There are spe very special people in the world that tend to do everything well on a continuing basis, you know. These are the great leaders in the world. These are people like Nelson Mandela, Mahmoud Gandhi, uh, Mother Teresa. These are the people who continue doing it well. And no matter what they, uh, what they do, no matter where they are, they continue doing it the same thing. So the question is, how can we become like that? And how can we teach our children and our staff to do exactly that? Uh, it's not so difficult. I, I, I found the secret, you know. The thing is we don't have to love what we do, right? We don't have to love what we do. And uh, for example, cleaning toilet. Nobody loves cleaning toilet, so we don't have to love to do cleaning toilet. But the secret is we have to put love into everything that we do. We don't love what we do, but we put love into every action that we do. And we can do that. Every time we clean the toilet, we put love into our action. When we, uh, when we try to cook, we put love into it. And especially, of course, when we help uh, our children to do their homework, we put love into our effort. And when we can, can do that, that's a thing become a lot easier. Eh? Things are not so burdensome. I call it, it becomes sweet burden, you know? So we don't, uh, we don't have to complain about it all the time. Uh, so try that if you like. Mother Teresa said, uh, not many of us can do great things, but all of us can do a small thing with great love. So just do that. In my previous uh, videos, I said that everything that is good in this life, everything that are wholesome, complete, in other words, everything that creative must come from love. And everything that are not very good, bad, everything that are not complete, uh, everything that are destructive, happen because we don't put enough love into it. So when we put love into everything that we do, the result will be great. The result will be very, uh, not only good, but satisfying to us and also help a lot of other people. So my advice is, Let's put love into everything that we do. 
Thank you very much.